Evening sky should be clear tonight here in Miami. Interleague baseball comes your way next. Couldn't ask for a better night for baseball than the one we've got here in Miami as MLB The Show welcomes you to another edition of Major League Baseball. Straight ahead, it's a rematch of the 2003 World Series as it'll be the New York Yankees taking on the Florida Marlins. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Happy to be with you here for this one. And as always, I'm joined by Major League veterans Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. How do we turn to you first? What are you going to be keeping an eye on in this matchup here? Well, one guy that'll need to be contained is Hanley Ramirez. This guy can beat you in so many ways. I mean, check out the numbers there. This guy was 30-30 last year and hit over 300. You don't find a whole lot of shortstops that can match that. All right, Hud, thanks. We'll get to Dave in a moment, but first we'll visit the starting lineup for the New York Yankees. It's presented by Majestic. And Johnny Damon's still the guy that makes this lineup go. They'll have to work at keeping him off base. They'll match up against one of the top prospects around, a former North Carolina star, left-hander Andrew Miller. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. The leadoff hitter makes his way toward the plate, and we are ready for baseball. are underway as Jeter looks at a pitch that misses ball one. And getting this guy going is going to be a real key if these guys want to turn things around. Now a fastball for a cold strike. It's one and one. Game time temperature a comfortable 76 degrees. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. The pitch. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. Throw on to first takes care of Jeter and that's the game's first out. Leadoff man retired now for Johnny Damon. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And this is where he's going to need to work the fastball in the innings to come. Work that thing on the outer half of the plate. Here's a fastball low, and he's behind 2-0. In there, two and one. Matt trying to work the fastball in on the label. That was a good pitch. Now the pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And you got the big thunder coming next, so you don't want to lose this guy. Fastball in there, three and two. And they've thrown him five pitches so far in this at bat, yet he hasn't found one he's liked yet. Just starting things out here in South Florida. And this is hit weakly in fair territory up the line. The throw will be in time at first, and Miller's got it rolling here, two away. Alex Rodriguez will step in now. And 
and that's inside for a ball, 1-0. And this guy's coming in off a two-strikeout performance in yesterday's ball game, so he's not seeing the ball very well. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. And he could get that average up over 300 if he could come through with a base hit right here. Here it comes. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Another 2-2 offering. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. A strong half inning of work there from Andrew Miller. It remains nothing-nothing. Uh, look there at the Marlins starting lineup as put together by their skipper, Freddy Gonzalez. And Pudge Rodriguez may be winding up his career, but his bat is still lively. Don't overlook him. And they'll be opposed by the big fella, left-hander C.C. Sabathia. You see him there. He's the owner of one of the best fastballs in baseball, and he will not back down from anyone while on the mound. Here's a look now at the defensive alignment they'll have to contend with. Into the box here is the shortstop Hanley Ramirez as he'll lead things off in the bottom of inning number one. Outside with the fastball that's 1-0. Really starting to feel like summer here at the yard. Starting to see a few more kids out here now that school's out. The 1-0 pitch. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0. 2-0 right out of the gate. I'd make him throw me a strike. Fouled straight back. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Cody Ross will dig in here. Look over from Sabathia, here's the pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Whoa, he may not see one better than that. On at first is Ramirez with nobody out. Throw over to the bag, and he'll dive back in. The 0 1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. And they pitch out, but no movement from Ramirez. He pulls the string on the changeup there and he pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Drop it, drop it, drop it. 
And Jeter's there to put it away for the first out. Our umpires for tonight's ball game. The sheriff is behind the plate. That's Dallas Hodges. Max Stafford works first. Raleigh McClure at second. And crew chief Ed Coleman rounds out the crew over at third. So a runner on first with one out now. And here comes Manny. Now a throw over to first. And he'll dive back in safely. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Swing and a line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. The throw to third. And he'll make it to third, and there are runners at the corners with only one out. Boy, this is a guy you'd love to be able to jump on early if you can. Runners are at first and third now, so you can bet they'd really like to put a run or two on the board here. Runners on the corners now with one man gone, and that'll bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. And he lays off there, 1-0. And, oh. and this guy wore the collar yesterday, an 0-4 for four game. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's 1-1. One and one. And That's a power fastball right there at 94. He really slings it in there. one one on the way line down the left field line but this is foul near the seats and this will be grounded foul down the line at third runners are at first and third one away Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. And this guy's a grinder up there. You know he'll give you a tough at-bat. Now Ugla swings and misses on a good two-strike pitch that time as he's retired for route number two. Well, you got to take the good with the bad with this guy. He can put up some big power numbers, but he'll also do this quite a bit. That's the trade-off. Jorge Cantu will take his cuts now. Change up too low, and it's 1-0. Ball hits sharply on the ground to third. He'll flip it over to Cano at second, and that'll be that. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Second inning coming up here in South Florida with no score. Mark Teixeira leads things off now in the top half of the second. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Right out of the windup and right into the stretch on the first pitch of the second. I guarantee you that's not what he had in mind when he was throwing his warm-up pitches. Xavier Nady will stand in.
Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And a high strike there. It's one and one. This is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. At first, Teixeira, now the pitch. Now a possible double play ball for Ugla. And Nady is going to have a base hit. Hideki Matsui will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Reaches and hits this one hard the other way. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. And the runner will score from second. Robinson Cano will step in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to pad this lead a bit early on. Ball probably could have gone either way, but ruled a ball one and oh. Gotta at least be thinking sack fly here if you're at the plate. Runners at second and third here, nobody out. And this is hit to the right side, but it'll wind up foul down the line at first. Now the one one to Cano. And he lays off a pitch down and away. Ball two. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Ugla's throw is right there for the first out. Another run in to score on the ground out, so he does his job there and makes this a 2-0 ball game. So a runner at third here with one gone, and that'll bring in the catcher, Jose Molina. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. Oh. And that misses 2-0. And, oh. and let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. Here comes the 2-0. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. That's a foul ball. Get the strike out there. And he misses again, ball three. And it looks like he's aiming the baseball now instead of just letting it go. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. And a fastball misses badly as that runs down and gets him. We'll see if he's all right. CC Sabathia will get his first shot at it here. First offering on the way. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing and one. And a good chance to really help himself out here early on. You can do it, Marlin! 
strike two. Okay, now with two strikes, you can put aside the thought of the double play ball and really go after the strikeout. And he misses there, one and two. And now maybe he'll use that high fastball to set up a curveball. From the stretch. And he struck him out. Back to the top of the order now. And in steps Derek Jeter. Shortstop. Derek Jeter. Fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time and the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Yankees lead this one two to nothing. Jeremy Hermida will start things off in the bottom of the second. Sends one deep down the right field line. Nady is there to take this one, and the bottom of the second starts with a one pitch out. Well, he gets the bat through the zone quickly that time and pulled it down the line, but he got under it a little too much. Wes Helms will get his first opportunity now. Now the first pitch. Just off the outside and it's 1-0. and Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. And I'd maybe try to make him chase even a little further out of the zone here. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. And this is what you call giving a guy something to think about one and two. They may come right back in on the hands. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Now Pudge will get his shot at it with two gone and the base is empty. Here's the first pitch to him. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, and that's a good spot to try to get somebody to pop the ball up. Two out, nobody on. And this winds up inside for a ball, 2-0 now. And you've got the pitcher on deck, so if you lose this guy, it's okay. And there's the first strike, 2-1. And, and with the pitcher on deck, you'd love to get this guy here and make the pitcher lead off the third.
Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw on to Teixeira to take care of him, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Yankees lead it two to nothing. Johnny Damon is ready to go here as we begin the third. First pitch coming. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. Just a perfect spot for that fastball. And this will be fouled away. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Now let's see if he drops that changeup on him again for out number one. And this is hit weakly in fair territory up the line. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. And a good idea right there. Don't even worry about taking it back to the bag. Just make sure you hold on to the rock. So the leadoff man gone here, and they'll face A-Rod with the bases empty. Hit hard on the ground is short. There to take it is Ramirez. Throw gets him, two down. So two are gone here in the inning for Mark Teixeira. Now here's the first pitch. Swing shot back up the middle. And that'll get down for a two-out single. And this is just a case of see ball, hit ball right there. He gets a fastball to start the at-bat, and he just sends it right back where it came from. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And stepping in, the right fielder, Xavier Nady. First pitch coming. And a fastball for Miller as he jumps ahead, nothing in one. Ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Uh -huh. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Yankees are out in front, two to nothing. Andrew Miller makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. And it looks like he's got a good feel for that pitch early on. And he misses with it one and one. Got to look to try and slap that thing the other way. Of the 
fastball, but this is skied into straightaway right. Under it is Nady, and X marks the spot for the first out. Leadoff man gone, so they'll work against the shortstop, Handley Ramirez. And he takes ball one. Yeah, they go right back inside after hitting him the first time around. Two and oh. And here's a case where you can just sit on fastball. If you don't get one, just take it. Here's the 2-0 pitch. And that's over. 2-1. and one. And Ramirez will just try and work his way aboard here. It's 3-1. and one. And if they walk him, you can bet he's going to want to run. Uh, and he may have reached for ball four there as this is sent on the ground to third. Throw on to Teixeira, two down. Here's the pitch. Cody Ross stands in as he looks at ball one here. Oh, and the big fella wanted that one, and he should have got it, too. Hit on the ground towards first. Oh, and he bobbles it. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So nothing happening this time around. Three innings complete. The Yankees lead it two to nothing. Hideki Matsui will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Swing by Matsui, and this is grounded to second. And now this is bobbled by Ugla. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Leadoff man gone now for Robinson Cano. Drifting over is Manny, but this will find the seats out of play. Oh, and two now as Cano comes up empty on that one. And now they've got him set up for just about anything here. Fastball, and that ran in on him as he had to limbo out of the way that time. And if guys are going to go ahead and wear that armor on their elbow, they better expect to get backed off the plate every now and then. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing, and Cano rolls this one to second. Up with it is Ugla. Throw to first, and Cano's a ground out victim. Two gone. Jose Molina will try it again a bit sore this time. He was hit by a pitch in his first at bat. Here we go. Come on, guys. 
And the first pitch here is pulled on the ground to third. Played there by Cantu. Throw on to Helms at first, and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Yankees lead this one two to nothing. Manny Ramirez will stand in. A base hit his first time around. First pitch to him. Good fastball from Sabathia to start the at-bat. It's strike one. Tough guy to face here to start this inning. Hard hit towards center. Therefore, it is Damon as he takes it for out number one. So one gone now for Dan Uglin. And here's the first pitch. Sabathia really putting all of his body behind that fastball. It's strike one. And you can tell he's really in his zone out there now. Ball one. And this is taken for a ball. Looked pretty good, but it's two and one now. Boy, that looked pretty good. You hate to give this guy extra strikes to work with. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. And it's pretty clear they've decided to work him up in the zone here as they've gone up with the last three pitches. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Yeah, almost strike three, but I don't think he broke the wrist, so that's a good call. And ball four as Ugla is aboard. Now time for a visit from the pitching coach. And everyone in the ballpark knows he's going to tell him, quit walking, guys. Let's go. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that'll bring in the third baseman, Jorge Cantu. Now a ball lined towards center field. And beyond the range of Jeter, it's short of base hit. So two men are on with one man out. And that'll bring forth the youngster, Jeremy Hermida. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. And after three fairly painless innings, he's had to throw a lot of pitches here in the fourth. Runners are at first and second with one away. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Hermida awaits the 1-1. One, one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. And if you're wondering, that's pitch number 51 now through three and a third. And boy, he's just saying, where do I have to put it? 
three and one now. Boy, he's about to lose his mind out there on the mound. Bad time to shrink that strike zone now. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. First and second now, one man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Wes Helms will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. First pitch coming. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Man, in an important spot like this, you got to be able to get off a better swing than that. Two men are on with two men out. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We played four full. The Yankees lead it two to nothing. CC Sabathia will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Now here's the first pitch. And who looked pretty good on the monitor, but it's ruled a ball inside one and oh. Boy, the difference between starting out 0-1 or up 1-0 is huge in a hitter's eyes. He caught a break there. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. Not a bad spot to miss. You'd love to get him to reach for something. Ball grounded foul down the line near first. Found a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Tough to catch up. That thing's got a lot of hop at the end. And they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So one gone now for Jeter. Breaking ball as this runs in on him and he has to step out of the way that time. One zero pitch now, and he misses low with it. Two and zero. Slice down the line at first, but a foul ball, and it's two and one now. One out, nobody on. A two-one offering. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And he's still yet to issue a free pass tonight, but he's a pitch away from his first right here. Swing and a ground ball to first. And 
Helms will just get to the bag himself for the out. Johnny Damon will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. And this is the guy you want right here because you'd much prefer to have A-Rod lead off the next inning. Swing and a bouncer out in front. Throw on to Helms at first and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they hold a 2-0 lead. Pudge Rodriguez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And I can guarantee these guys would love to get a little spark here from the bottom of the order. Now the 0-1 is swung on and hit on the ground a third. And a throw on to first by A-Rod is in time, one away. Andrew Miller will try it again. He flew out his first time. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. And, and he's done everything right on the mound so far. The mistakes have been almost non-existent. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Here's the 0-2 from Sabathia. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Hanley Ramirez will step in, a ground out victim his last time. And a fastball just misses for ball one. And sometimes when you're a leadoff hitter, go ahead and take a pitch. Let your pitcher catch his breath for a second. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Mm, maybe could have appealed that one. I don't know. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. and And I don't know what happened, but he's all of a sudden gone wild. Here he comes on 3-0. Taking all the way, it's 3-1 now. Third time through the lineup for these guys now, and they haven't done a whole lot to this point. Ball hit out towards Cano at second. And way too much on the throw as it's over the head of Teixeira. Cody Ross steps in now. First offering on the way. And this is hit well towards the hole. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. And he will get in there with their first run. It's a 2-1 to -one game now. Ah, and just a great approach there with two away. You can see this pitch is away, so instead of trying to pull it, he just takes it the other way and he's able to pick up the two-out RBI. Manny Ramirez will step in. One for two in the ballgame.
gracious, where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. Mm. And Dallas Hodges can be a little spotty sometimes when it comes to calling the corners. A runner on first with two away. The 1 0 to Ramirez. Hit hard back up the middle. And Manny is going to reach on a base hit. Dan Ugla will stand in. Base on balls his last time. Now the first pitch. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. Now a dive, but he can't get there, and this is going to be trouble out there in left center. And Damon will fire this one in off the wall. Jorge Cantu will step in. A base hit in his last time. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Woo! Straight challenge right there. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 2. And he'd love to limit the damage to just two runs if he can. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Foul ball. Big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base and after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So it's two runs on three hits, one error, and two men left stranded. We're through five here at the ballpark and we are tied 2-2. Yankees coming up to start the sixth, but first let's take a look at our upper deck in-game box score. Alex Rodriguez will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Lays off 1 and 0. And he can't get A-Rod to bite on it. It's 2-0. and And you can tell he's really showing him a lot of respect at the plate. And wow, Dallas Hodges just isn't giving anything now. It's 3-0. and Ah, and that might be the kind of call you get when you're an all-star. That look to catch a lot of the plate. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. Throw bounces up to him at the bag, and he's able to cover up and hang on. Not the most fluid play, but he's out nonetheless. So one gun in the inning now, and here's the always dangerous Mark Teixeira. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. And here's a fastball called for strike two. And even though he's pitching well, this is the part of the order that he's really got to worry about.
And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Easier said than done, but in a tie game, I think I'm going to try to stay in that box a little longer when that pitch is coming in like that. And that's taken outside for a ball, so he's worked it back to two and two now. And this guy's got two of their four hits tonight, so he's been one of their few bright spots. Soft liner here to the right side. Foul. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Oh, and these two guys are locked in a battle now. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Two away now in the Yankees sixth. And here is the right handed hitting Xavier Nady. Fastball's too high here, 1 0. Oh. Yeah, and when guys start missing up late in the ball game, it can sometimes be a warning flag. That's in there for his strike one and one. And X able to hold off there, so it's two and one now. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. That's foul ball. Two two pitch on the way. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Softly to the right side, but foul. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and set to stand in the left fielder Hideki Matsui. Fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. And this guy's double earlier in the ball game has been their only extra base hit so far. Now a swing and a ball hit foul to first as the first base coach had to do a little skip to my Lou there. Pitch is low, but Pudge is able to hang with it there. But fortunately, no advance. And he lays off again, ball three. And now this becomes a big pitch, especially when you're struggling with command. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And a 
swing and a ground ball back up the middle. Oh, look at Ramirez. Ah, but the throw is too late as he gave it all he had, but that'll be scored as an infield single. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone, and set to stand in the fine second baseman, Robinson Cano. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. Throw on to Helms at first, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. On to the bottom of inning number six, and we are tied 2-2. And before the Marlins take their cuts, it's time once again to check out our in-game box score. Jeremy Hermida will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Wait. Fastball in there for a called strike. Now here's the pitch. swung on and taken the opposite way out toward fairly deep left center. Therefore, it is Damon, and he's got it one away. Well, that changeup caught far more of the plate than I'm sure he wanted, but he got away with it anyway. Wes Helms will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch on the way. And there's the slider from Sabathia as he jumps ahead, nothing and one. And he's been able to use that slider early in the count to get ahead. Next pitch of making even 80 pitches for Sabathia. And there's ball one. And this crowd's fallen into a bit of a lull here in the middle innings. On the ground down the first baseline. And Teixeira steps on first himself to record the out. Buds Rodriguez will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch coming. And this is taken outside for ball one. And he's looking for his first hit of the game to try to push his hitting streak up to five games. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. And the low 80s slider is in there and he's in control one and two. Yeah, and he's really been able to place that slider well. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. And with two strikes, that's a tempting pitch not to chase. And this is fouled straight back. There's 
And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. John Baker will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Your attention, please. And for the Marlins, number 21, Sean. Now here's the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. And this is the guy you gotta get right here. Hits are even right now at five aside. Swinging a soft liner back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Hanley Ramirez will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. From the belt, the pitch. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1 and 0. And he's already given up two walks in the inning, and he's fallen behind here as well. Now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Swing and a line drive to left. And Matsui will make the catch, and with that, the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Seventh inning coming up. And we are tied 2-2. New pitcher coming on now is the right-hander Leo Nunez. Jose Molina will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Too low, 1-0. and oh. And he's yet to extend that six-game hitting streak at the plate, so he's down to his final few at-bats. <laughs> Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. Soft liner to the right side. Foul. And he chases one up the ladder as he hits a high fly ball out to straightaway center. And that's going to be a base hit. So there's the possible go-ahead run aboard to kick off the seventh. C.C. Sabathia will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. And even in a bunt situation with the pitcher at the plate, Sabathia is not your ordinary pitcher. He can definitely hurt you if you're not careful. And the bunt attempt misses that time for strike one. Ah, and they want to get that go-ahead run up to second base with one away. Here's where the little things become so important. Go-ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. The tag gets one. Derek Jeter will dig in needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base.
off the plate and low here, ball one. And we are right on the teetering point in this ball game. Each at bat could be a make or break now. Here's the 1-0. And this one's too far inside, ball two. And just eyeballing it from up here, he doesn't have the look of a guy that's totally warm yet. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. Throw on the first and Jeter is set down for the second out of the inning. Johnny Damon will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And now you need a little of that two-out magic here if you want to get this lead. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Well, Damon's got a little pop, so he can take that pitch out of the yard if you're not careful. Good idea with the change, but it's two and one. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Here he comes on two and one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Okay. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. And now's a spot where you need to come up with your best pitch on the mound. Fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. And that misses for ball four. Alex Rodriguez will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. And the Yanks just need that one big hit they've been lacking so far. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Fastball, not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. And these guys better hope his location clears itself up pretty soon. Both teams with six hits so far. Foul back. Swing and he shoots this one to first. And no shot to knock this one down. And that's going to score the run from third. The relay throw. But it's way late and he's in there. A new pitcher coming on now. It's the former Crimson Tide standout. Left-hander Taylor Tankersley. Big spot here. Runners at the corners. Two gone. And here's the dangerous Mark Teixeira. Now a throw over. And a dive, but he's back in.
Now the first pitch. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. And Hermida will camp under this one as he puts it away to retire the side. So it's one run on two base hits, no errors, and two left. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami. The Yankees are out in front, three to two. Cody Ross will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch to him. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and And even at 94 pitches now, they're going to leave him out there to start the seventh. In there, and it's even at one. And these guys could really use a leadoff base runner here. Change up that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. And you're definitely not trying to put the tying run on base, so there was no intention with that one. Come on, that's what man. The 2 1. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's 2 and 2. I mean, they just can't touch him tonight. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. And they'd certainly take a walk here, anything to get something started. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. So one away here in the inning for Manny Ramirez. Here's the first offering. And the slider hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. But he will haul this in on the run as he had to go back to the warning track to do it. And there are two away. Dan Ugla will dig in. One for two with a double in this one. Fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1-0. and And he's not going to swing at borderline pitches. He knows what his assignment is. Oh. And this one's on the inside corner, 1-1. One and one. Still throwing 94 with good location. There is this is skied out to fairly deep center field. And there to handle this one is Damon, and the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Yankees lead this one three to two. Xavier Nady will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. First pitch coming. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1-0. Oh. And he misses again, 2-0. and oh. He was summoned out of the bullpen fairly quickly here. It looks to me like he may not be fully warmed up yet. Change up and he can't buy a strike here, three and oh. And in just a one run game, you really need to avoid the leadoff walk if you can. Oh. 
And he misses with it, ball four. And if there's one thing that'll drive a manager nuts, it's the leadoff walk. Hideki Matsui will get another shot now, two for three in the game. Here's the first offering. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Plenty of room to work with for the left-handed Matsui if he can pull one on the ground. Now here's a swing and ball hit well out there toward right center. And this will likely be extra bases for Matsui. And the runner will score from first. Robinson Cano will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Swing and a ball pulled into right. Hermida is there to put it away for route number one. The tag, and they got him at third. It's a double play. Jose Molina will dig in. One for two thus far. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And against a guy like this, you get that first pitch fastball, you better be hacking. And he reaches out to fight this one off as the count moves to 0-2 now. Line hard into left. And that is going to be a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. So a runner at second, two down now. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Jorge Posada. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's one and oh. Nice little insurance run out there at second. The next pitch. And 2-0 and now as this misses below the knees. And there's a good chance up 2-0. and He's going to see a fastball here. And here's a fastball for a strike. 2-1 and one now. Two out here and a runner at second. Change up, pull to strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Now a ball hit sharply down the line at third, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Ready with another two two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. And this is not the guy you want to lose. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. And we'll have a new pitcher here as the hard-throwing Brandon League enters the mix.
Derek Jeter will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. And here's the first pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. And he's working hard from the neck up right now. That's by him for strike one. And it's imperative that you get a good jump out there at second right now and first for that matter. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Boy, this umpire is expanding the strike zone in every conceivable direction. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Here he comes again, one, two, ball two. And I think you've got to throw a strike here because you do not want to go three and two. to the left side but foul another 2-2 offering on the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over so one run on two hits no errors and two men left on base not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Yankees lead it 4-2. to two. So a new pitcher coming on, and it'll be the right-hander Brian Bruni that gets the call. Jorge Cantu will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. in there and it's 0-1. And when you're struggling to score runs, you really need the heart of your order to get something started. Here we go, Jorge. Come on. Nope. One and one. And these guys have got to be saying, thank goodness we don't have to deal with Sabathia anymore. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And now this is bobbled out in center. Jeremy Hermida will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Ooh, started him with the change and it's nothing in one. And this guy's 0 for 6 in the series thus far, so he's got to be about due to come through. He's ready. Now the pitch. And here's a very close pitch up around the letters. Looked good, but it's a ball 1-1. One and Ah, one. Oh, come on already! Nobody out, runner on first. Good location on the outside corner there. One and two. And a good eye that time by Hermita as the count evens at two.
And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And you can't afford to walk him here, so we'll see if they stay with the hard stuff on three and two. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Cameron Mabin will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 24, Cameron And this is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Outside for a ball, one and one. Runners on first with one down. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Two and one. This is your prototypical hit and run count, so you've got to be aware defensively. Now a slider misses and that pushes the count to three and one. Just got to concentrate on that glove in situations like this. Just get it over. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Well, and this is the old saying, when in doubt, talk it out, as they'll gather the entire infield here to make sure they've got the correct play set up. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and here comes Pud. And a fastball, very easy to lay off that one. It's ball one. He's going to have to punch his way up the ropes now. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. Good job of locking on location as he finds his own with that one. Now a swing and a ground ball. Throw to third. Throw across to first. Won't be in time, so he's aboard on the fielder's choice. Alfredo Omeziga will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. First offering on the way. And this ball hit pretty well. High and deep to straightaway left. Matsui will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We've played eight full. The Yankees are out in front, four to two. Scott Proctor will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Gabby Sanchez is on now as a defensive replacement. Johnny Damon will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the night. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole, and that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. So a runner at first now with nobody out, and here comes A-Rod. And he'll throw over to first. Almost caught him leaning that time.
Grounded to third. This could be two. To Ugla for one. Back to first, and A-Rod bounces into the double play. Well, he didn't have to worry too long about having a base dealer at first. How about one pitch as he gets the nice double play rolling right here? Mark Teixeira will dig in now. Two hits in four at-bats thus far tonight. Pitch on the way. And a ball, 1-0. Still no home runs in the ball game on either side of the scorecard. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is swung on and grounded to Ramirez at short. And Ramirez can't hang on. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. Xavier Nady will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. Boy, late on the curveball here, yet he's still able to drive this one deep down the right field line. But that'll be off the right field wall. Hideki Matsui will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is low, ball one. Boy, it feels like no one sat down since about the seventh inning. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. And they haven't been able to put these guys away through the first eight innings, but this at back could just about seal it. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Catch him flailing that time as he serves this on the ground to shortstop. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So no runs on two hits, one Marlin error, and a couple of men left. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. The Yankees lead this one 4-2. to two. And on to try and close things out here in the ninth. Who else? Mariano Rivera. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the New York Yankees, number 42. Hanley Ramirez will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Straight fastball there from Rivera. It's 0-1. And could these guys ever use a leadoff base runner? Now here's the pitch. And Ramirez can't get that one as he swings and misses for strike two. And at least they're set up well for the ninth with the top three in their lineup due up. And Ramirez able to hold off on that one, but he still trails in the count. It's one and two. Yeah, they're hoping to get him to fish for something, but he's a little bit too smart up there.
looked like a tough fastball there as it's hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Cody Ross will step in. One for four in the ballgame. First pitch coming. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. Oh. The victory here would go to CC Sabathia if the lead holds up. And that's right there and we're even at one. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. Fielded by Jeter. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Two up and two down in the ninth so far. This one looks just about to be in the bag. Manny Ramirez will stand in as their last chance now. fouled as he was way out in front there. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Up with it is Jeter. Throw on to first and the ball game is over. And Rivera closes things out with a good cutter there as he works a scoreless ninth to pick up the save. we were definitely treated to a Cy Young style performance from the Cy Young award winning left hander CC Sabathia. He's today's upper deck player of the game. Matt that was seven strong innings for him and it's always good when you can get your starter to take you deep into the ball game and he got the bullpen to finish things out for him. So that'll wrap things up here tonight. For Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB 09 The Show. Join us on the web at MLB09.com. The Yankees come out on top, 4-2. to two. A post-game highlight package is next, so until next time, good night from South Florida.